Hi, it's Nikki, and I am going to share a um, channeled letter. Um, so uh, the number that wants to come through is number 23. And these are all channeled letters from people's twins, higher selves. And so these are messages to keep you on track and keep you in that love vibe. So, and the number that came through today was 23. The other thing, um, I've just done a healing for me and my twin. And uh, when I tap into the, the, so basically when I do healings, I tap into the energy. I use Holy Fire Reiki and shamanic and crystals and all sorts of things. But what I do is I see things. And um, basically what they showed me or what our energy showed us was that, um, <laughs> and it's really lovely because my first cat was a black cat called Lulabel, Lulu. And uh, my best friend had a cat called Ratty and he was a Siamese cat. And uh, one day we decided that we wanted to get them married. And so we gave Ratty a little, um, <laughs> we put him in a little um, bow tie and we put Lula Bell in a, we put a head, pinned a headdress to her head. <laughs> and anyway, uh, we were only really young and really naughty. And we basically, they had like this little pond thing. And for their honeymoon, we thought it'd be a really good idea to throw them in the pond, which I know is terrible, but we did. We were only like, I don't know, maybe five or six or something. Anyway, so, um, and so they showed me that. And what they said was, um, you see, did you, and basically the cat, the, the cats were totally fine. We fished, <laughs> we fished them out again and got to very badly told off. Um, uh, but, um, the uh what the healing was saying was like look did they sink or swim and uh and the message was of course they swam and they were totally fine so um and that's the message so and the other thing that i saw which i often see is that my twin arriving at my front door um and so i often get that as a vision that he's just he just sort of turns up so um and that's was what i was seeing today so Basically, you get thrown in the deep end. Do you sink? Do you swim? And the answer is you swim. So that's the main message today. So letter 23 is this, that I need you. I need to hear you tell me that you miss me, you love me, that you long for us to be together and you long for us to be entwined together for eternity, just as I yearn for this. I need to know that you yearn for it too just as much as every cell in my body aches for you. I need to have you with me. I need to know that we will be together no matter what. Our love and our union will bring us together against all odds. The love will win. We will be winners in love. Glorious, glorious love. A love that is so strong it takes my breath away, leaves me completely wiped out and exhausts me but inspires me and catapults me into being a new being, a new self. It's love. <laughs> okay, so that's the first one. And 23 from book two is that you are the only one that I want to spend the rest of my life with, that I've made up my mind. I'm not going to let my fears and my crazy head get in the way of our happiness, that I need to man up. I know I'm not a little boy anymore. And I can't keep putting my life on hold and hoping for a miracle to happen because I already found my miracle and it's you. It always has been. I've always wanted to be with you from the first time we met, but I was scared and I wasn't in a good place. I was miserable and I didn't want me to bring your life down. But now I see more clearly. I see that together we make each other. Together we bring the light to each other's shadow. Together we are love pure true love <laughs> there you go number two and then number three is this i want to be you to be totally honest and open with me and tell me exactly how you feel don't hold back just open your heart and let me know don't worry about what i say i need to hear your confidence in your love for me and your determination that is what will give me the strength to do what i have to do so much of my life I've lived in fear, but I really need reassurance to step out of my fears, to have confidence to be able to love you, to not fear our connection. So please be strong, stay strong in our love and show me the way. 
Okay, so there you go. Stay strong in my love, in our love. Just know that it's going to be and show me the way. Um, and so I'm just going to pick an energy for today. Uh, this is for those who are on Twin Flame Soul to Soul, soul, to soul Journey. And, oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it's the Two of Pentacles. Um, so, uh, you know why I know that? Well, apart from my guidance, just saying that's the one. But it's because all of the cards are the up. Uh, I always put the cards in the other way round. So I, so um, seeing that, I know straight away that that's the one. So the Two of Pentacles is this. Um, I perfect the art of balancing. <laughs> At the core of the Starman Tarot, this is the Dex trickster nature who plays with the traditional programming of the tarot, turning things on their heads. In this vein, I often fashion the earth out of the sky and the sky out of the earth and enjoy push, punish, pu, pushing the boundaries with how the characters are visualised and the environments in which they find themselves. Traditionally, the character in the Two of Pentacles is depicted juggling two gold pentacles bound by a ribbon or a cord, which forms a leminiscent, the, infinis, the infinity symbol. The character is, firmly, uh, is placed firmly on smooth, solid ground, while two sailing ships are wildly tossed around on a volatile sea. This forms the story of his solidity as the chaotic and shifting world transpires in the background. Right, so you see this? So this is about saying that, that no matter what and however chaotic it seems, um, you basically are grounded, right, and balanced. And that is the journey. So striking balance, um, reinventing yourself to suit your desires, riding the wave of challenge in your life. So everything in the so basically all of that I'm not I'm not going to read the whole thing because um it's a long thing and I need to get going but basically this is the me message for today it's all about riding those waves of challenge you know just like I can see now why I saw that vision this morning about me throwing the cats into the pond is because you know that what they said was what did they have to do they had to sink or swim and they swam and cats hate the water. <laughs> and I know that's terrible. I wouldn't advocate anyone doing that, but I was only about five. Um, and we thought we were doing them right. We thought we were going to send them on a lovely honeymoon into the swimming pool. I mean, who doesn't love that? Well, cats don't love that. <laughs> so, but that's what they showed me today. And of course, the other thing is, is that um, I now realise, having been on this journey for this, for, you know, everything that I've learned is that Lula Bell, my first cat, had my twin spirit within, she, my twin spirit was with her. So I've got, because she used to follow me everywhere, sleep with me, everything, follow me to school, follow me everywhere. And uh, it's not until I've, I've learned more about this journey that your twin spirit has been around you in, in your favorite, everything, objects, animals, everything. Um, ever since, always, for always, because you are, part of each other's spirit essence everything so i mean amazing so that's the thing are you going to sink or swim which is why this is saying are you going to ride the waves or are you going to get dunked by the waves it's your choice uh that's the message for today so rise up rise up in your vibration rise up in this love rise up and ride those waves all right well i hope that helps and i hope you have a great day all right take care bye